I think we just met back in dirt biking. We were, she had a quad and I had a quad and, um, and she was friends with another one of my friends who I was friends, you know, that's how we met. And I, I knew that she was the one. I remember um, I proposed to her in Mexico and uh, she said yes. And uh, shortly after we got married, she was eight months pregnant. She got diagnosed with breast cancer. It was a lump in her, in her breast, but um, they figured because she was pregnant, it might've been just from pregnancy. So she had a, a biopsy and then they, figured, they found out it was cancer, stage four already. So it already had spread. We knew that there was not much they could do for her besides the chemo and radiation. So it was just, it was two and a half years of hospitals and then doctor visits. And um, we had our son, Hunter, I missed it all. Not what you would, your picture, your first two and a half years of marriage to be. This is uh, a whiteboard that Alyssa's best friend gave to me um, the day Alyssa went to the hospice. It was the day before she passed away. She passed away August 19th. And I wrote down that verse. I saw the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest in hope because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. Acts 2, 25 to 27. After death is not the end, it's just the beginning. I think that's the part that really jumped out at me, that, that part. Because I, uh, I knew it was Alyssa's, Alyssa's time was coming. Before the diagnosis, I was just on top of the world, right? Like, you think nothing can go wrong. And I remember being in the room with her when she got the diagnosis, I remember the room just felt like it shrunk. It's so hard to describe, it just, it, I was here and then I was down here. Literally like I was in the valley, you know, but then being in the valley, there's only one way to look and that's up, right? And that's what I did. Was, I looked up and there's only one person up there, Jesus. Life has changed dramatically and very little time I never expected to be married again so soon. I met Kim, my wife now. We dated for a couple months <laughs> and I knew that she was the one and I didn't want to lose her, right? And so I asked her to marry me three months later after we were dating and she said yes. And she had two girls already with her and so my family got quite a bit bigger. Um, and we have Abigail, our oldest, Elena, then Hunter, my son, and then we had our own little boy, Emmett. Jesus is there for you. It might not seem like he's there, but he is there. God just revealed himself to me, and I found out why God loves me so much. And then my faith just started going up and up and since then I've I've been on a journey I've been wanting to live for him non-stop like it, I just want to tell everybody about how awesome he is and how loving he is I want God to use me through this so I can share it with other people and help them if they need help right and just love them it's hard to describe the, the peace you know even that day of, it, it's just, I had peace. I had his peace with me, you know, and I still do. Amidst life, amidst everything still, it's like, it's just, I have the peace. Not, not knowing stuff can still happen, of course, right? But I know I'll always have that peace. As long as I keep trusting in him. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give. John 14, 27.